Another new feature added to ES6 are map objects. So a map is very similar to the JavaScript object. It is a collection of key value pairs wrapped inside of the map. Very similar to an object, but there are a few differences. So I have an example here where we've got three objects, A, B, and people. A and B have similar names and values inside of here. People is an empty object, and then I'm going to use these objects as the keys. So sometimes you use numbers, sometimes you use strings, but you can also use objects as the keys for other objects. So I'm saying people A is detective, people B is doctor. So I'm in effect, I'm trying to take this object and use this object as the key right here, and then I'm taking this object and trying to use it as the key right here. But this is where the problem comes with objects. So this is a limitation. And I'm going to write out the value of those two things. So what I'm going to be expecting to get here is name Sherlock and name Watson. Or, sorry, those are my keys. So the values are going to be detective and doctor. So detective, doctor is what I'm expecting or what you might expect. But what I get is Dr. Doctor. And the reason for that is inside of here, what I'm getting is A is actually being viewed as object, object. That's what I'm getting for the key. And then for B, it is the exact same thing. So effectively, I am overwriting the first one with the second one. So this is people, object, object, is detective. And then people, object, object, becomes doctor. So my limitation is that I cannot use objects as keys for other objects. Wrote that backwards. Can I use objects as keys for other objects? You can, but it gets converted into this description, which is basically the type of result for an object. This is where maps come in. So let's create a map. So a map is a structure made up of key value pairs, and the keys are, can be objects, strings, symbols, numbers, pretty much anything that you want to use as the key, you can do so in a map. So I can now say characters, and with an object you just use the square bracket syntax, but maps actually have a set and get method. So set a Spell detective characters dot set b doctor. Now this will actually work. So I can console dot log characters dot get a. There we are. So now this is behaving the way that we expect, the way that we want. We're actually able to use right here A and B, the actual objects, and they are distinct from one another as objects that have different contents inside of them, different properties, or maybe the properties have the same name, but they've got different values. They are two distinct objects that are being used as the keys for these two different elements. So when we try to retrieve them, we will get those separate elements. And I had an earlier video where I was using the for of loop to get at the um, contents of an array. 
we can do the same thing with a map. And using destructuring, the for of loop is actually going to allow me for each iteration of the loop, I'm going to be able to pull out the key and the value, and it'll put them into these two values. And I'm going to use my backtick characters to use a template string. Or a, yeah, template string. So I'll put a link in the comments to my video about the uh, template strings if you're still wondering about those. And we'll run this one more time. So, first time we went through trying to access the objects with the object keys, and we saw that the second time it got overwritten. Then when we use the actual map, this line right here, we were able to maintain the fact that they were two distinct objects. Now, going through here, we can see that the values are maintained. We looped twice, the values were maintained. It is writing out the fact that this is an object, which is absolutely fine, but they are two distinct objects. They did not get converted into a string. So the object keys here were converted from actual objects into a string. All values used in objects as keys are actually converted into strings. All right, any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thank you for watching.